absolutely delighted to welcome you tonight to an evening with George Saunders. It takes seven pages, and at the end of it, you're going to come off going, damn, that was something. That, that's a huge job. Uh, so if I take it a step beyond that, I would say a story is meant to be a kind of a black box, and you go into it as a reader, and when you're in there, something happens to you that's powerful, and I would say non-trivial, by which I mean it's not just somebody shaking the box, but something goes in there that's not irrelevant to your actual dearest experience as a human being, and you come out transformed. Uh, breathless is good, and just from looking at my own deep reading experiences, I come out of the great books feeling some percentage more alive. Um, I believe in your reality more, you know. I believe in the reality of that tree more. I believe in my own reality. And the magical thing is I think I also come out believing less in our separateness. So the experience of having bonded together over prose, over language, somehow softens the border between you and me. It also softens many of the borders that exist within us. And suddenly when we look out at the world, we don't necessarily see a bunch of enemies or a bunch of others but we see alternate versions of ourselves. You know, Brilliant Rebecca Solnit. So I dismantle and break them and tell them, tell them otherwise, but never forget that you are also a storyteller, a storyteller, that we live in stories the way fish swim in water, that we choose our stories if we can see them, that we are made of stories, and this can be a blessing or a curse, and is usually both at once as, we, as our lives unfold. Choose your stories carefully. Listen to what has been silent. Learn to see the invisible. And remember that this era of tremendous change we're in is partly achieved by changing stories, by telling stories, by breaking stories, and making stories. And that is also your story. Thank you. Good evening with Colin Tobin. Personally, that idea of getting to know somebody else silently by turning the pages of a book and so I think if you're writing, and indeed if you're teaching writing, you are involved with that responsibility that maybe what we're doing is more important than what they're doing over in the business school. Even though, I mean, no, no, but I have nothing, I mean, I have nothing against the business school. I have nothing against the business school. I mean, I mean it's probably quite important that people actually have enough money to, you know, to live, and maybe more even, to live well. But actually, that business of the spirit, of the non-material self, and of sympathy for others and knowledge of others is probably the most important thing in, in our lives, in how we love, how we live, and what matters. Cheryl Strait. So whenever you show up in bookstores or theaters or wherever writers are to, to listen to them talk or listen to them read, it's, you know, you're not only honoring that person, but you're honoring um, the, the art of literature and really um, what the, the power of the word. And so thank you for gracing me with your presence.